welcome to the Snake Pit. Gun socks. <laughs> Was the old man right? <laughs> All right, so I've only recently started using gun socks, and there is a little bit of a taboo, kind of a yin and yang type of thing with with some uh, people out there as far as the moisture aspect of it. Stick around, I'm going to explore that just a little bit, give you my thoughts on it, and I really want your input down in the comment section below on your experiences with gun socks. And it doesn't matter, matter about the manufacturer. Um, what might matter is if the gun sock is silicone treated, which most of the modern socks are. All right, so <laughs> I won't even say my old man, like um, really grandfather. Gun socks were a thing. You know, I always thought, you know, what what's the purpose of that? But I'm starting to get into them because I have some some rifles that are more at the back of the safe type of thing. And if I want to get them out, I'm always banging them around. So I picked up another one today at Walmart. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to put it over this rifle right here. And these things are, are cheap. This was under $5 at Walmart. You, If you order them online, you know, this is an Allen, but there's different manufacturers. <laughs> they may all come out of the same um, sweatshop in China for all I know because this one is made in China. I don't know. But if it's for rifles, fits up to uh, 52 inches. They do make them for pistols. The controversy over these things. Let me open this up while I'm talking. Controversy is moisture, right? We're always fighting moisture, depending on where you live, with <laughs> your firearms. And this one being silicone laden is supposed to, you know, absorb the moisture and keep it off your firearm. However, if you live in a moisture rich environment, such as the Hornet Fixer down there in Florida, right? He may put something in a gun sock and, you know, he didn't check it for a year, pulls the rifle out of a gun sock and it has rust or corrosion on it. Why? Because the humidity overwhelmed the gun sock, even though it's silicone laden. You know, what's it say? Silicone treated. I don't want to even say laden, but silicone treated. There's only so much that the silicone is going to be able to absorb before it can't absorb anymore, and that will be passed on to your firearm. Please keep that in mind. How can we combat this? You know, I live in a really dry area. I live at 6,000 feet. It's mainly because of the altitude. I live at just over 6,000 feet. Elevation is dry. I have trouble keeping my humidors you know, with the proper you know, humidity levels. With that said, in my safe, I still am trying to dry it, draw out moisture. Who uses these things, right? This one I need to plug in. <laughs> you can see here it is ready. It's wet. Wet is good with when you're with a woman, but not so good when you're trying to keep a firearm dry. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> I went dirty there, sorry. Um, with these, here's what I was thinking. And someone, this is just an idea. I have not tested it out. If you live in a hum humidity-rich environment like in Florida or some other place in the south, Mississippi, oh, man. Oh, I remember visiting family back when I was a youth, visiting family in Mississippi. Oh, it felt like you could cut through the air. It was so thick with the humidity. Oh, my goodness. So if you live in one of those areas and you sock it, you might need to dry this sock out. You know, once a week, once a month, depending on your humidity level, take your firearms out, take your rifles out, desock them, throw these in your dryer, right? 
put them on a quick dry process or whatever it is it, you know modern dryers have an automatic setting you know it may just take the 15 minute quick dry setting with all your socks to keep them to dry out the moisture and they're they reset they're good type of thing that's what I would recommend anyone that has experienced that uh, please um, put your input down below because like I said I live in a dry environment so I have two rifles in a in gun socks so far and no problem so far uh, with humidity now <laughs> a lot of these have little tags here and this is pretty cool you could actually write what type of firearm it is so if you have that many you forget <laughs> you could put on there so you don't have to desock it but come on man come on desock your rifle take a look at it handle it enjoy it a little bit even if you don't take it to the you know take it to the range you know enjoy it a little bit why have it sitting in your safe and you never touch it never do anything with it that's my philosophy you know I know we all get busy with with work so I'm starting to get into the gun socks ah oh, I forgot to mention muzzle first go check out muzzle first he did a vid on gun socks about a year and a half ago of course my furnace is kicking on during the shout out but uh, <laughs> typical right muzzle first go check him out I'm gonna put his link to that vid down below <laughs> About a year and a half ago, did a pretty good vid on these socks. And apparently they haven't uh, changed in pricing too much. Some people cut these um, drawstrings off. Depends on your preference. Uh, the couple I have with a uh, couple rifles, I'm able to draw it up and, and tie it around. So that's what I'll probably try to do with this one. So without further ado, I'm going to sock my... Uh, this will be the third rifle I have socked. <laughs> Socked, and I may be getting more because I'm looking at my safe. It's like, man, I should have picked up more of these. This was the only one on the shelf at Walmart at the time. Again, under five dollars, it was four something, and uh, almost five bucks. So that's about the price you should be paying for these uh, wherever you get them. Again, let's go ahead and uh, let's sock up this rifle and. You let me know what you think down below. Let's get our sock on. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to be socking is socking. There's this Mose and the Got. Recently returned this to original stock. 1939. Tula. And it sits at the back of the safe. It didn't get a lot of use. These socks are pretty flexible. They do make some that are specifically made for, you know, like ARs or something that has like a, a scope or something like that. Although these are pretty stretchy. Again, 52 inches. So just work them down. And I usually have the bolt on these Mosins pulled back and open. These things are so long, it just it just it just hit my HVAC system. <laughs> Look at that, easy peasy drawstring. Some people don't like the drawstring, but let me show you what I usually do. Because I've done this to two others, I'll do it like that. And I'm going to tie it. I'm going to need both hands, but just a little simple tie here like that real quick. Hold on. All right. You don't need, need anything fancy. <laughs> you, know, you don't need some crazy knot. Just a, a quick little loopy to do. And this 52-inch sock fits a Mose and the Gaunt. You know, these suckers are long. Love it. All right. Gun socks. Let me know what you think. 
let me know about um, moisture maintenance because you know what I mentioned before about throwing it in the dryer is that okay do you just need to take it off and line dry it type of thing hand wash it and line dry it I think that's what the tag says I don't know um, you may wear off some of the silicone you know as far as it uh, you know on this uh, polyester fabric but kind of common sense you, you you get moisture in the sock you dry it you heat it up and dry it just like the uh, little humidifiers that you can dry out let me know I'm digging them from for what I, my use is let me know what you think boom